It's the word, y'all. It's your boy J Sites, and I'm back today with another tutorial. Not really too much of a tutorial. I'm really just showing y'all a couple of my favorite uh plugins that I like to use. You feel what I'm saying? Plugins, uh, packs, and stuff like that. You feel me? Um, I'm gonna start off with my first favorite right now, man. My favorite right now that I've been seeing a lot of people use, and it's definitely a helpful one, is Antonio's title card pack. That title card pack is definitely probably one of the craziest ones that I've seen. All you need is Element 3D and a uh, projectile weapon. The man Ant has a crazy title pack. You can see he got the wooden plank title pack. All you have to really do is you don't have your wooden plank texture, which it is there. So here you go. Well, here we go. Look for the wooden plank texture. And all we got to do is replace this file that you see right here that's in red. Let's replace it with one of the files that he provided you with. So, and what is this called? Wooden plank. Let me try this one. There we go. Wooden plank. And let's try this. These other ones over here. And then we can come out here and let's see how this looks. All right, yeah. So there you go. And now all that you have to do for this part is uh just come to one of the titles, right? I'm sorry, just come to one of the layers which has text on it, turn it on, and we're gonna name this the Ant Crew. You feel me? And we're gonna turn this off. There we go. You feel me now? Look, we got this cool title by your boy Ant. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is probably one of the best title packs that's out right now. You feel what I'm saying? So I suggest y'all go get that. But yeah, let's move on to the next pack, next plugin, next preset, whatever y'all want to call it. This is a plugin called 3DFI, right? Um, I only have like a solo image of my Lego character, so you really can't see everything you get out of this. But I really feel like just the overall thought of this plugin is crazy, bro. All right, so I could take my image, right? And I could, uh, new composition, right? And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just rotoscope out my Lego real quick, right? All right, so now that you see I got the frozen rotoscope, right? I mean, like, this is really such a cool plugin. Just know when I press um the Repetile, it's going to duplicate my character. But look, y'all, this shit is fire. So first of all, change your Z position. I probably make my Z position like 300. And then I create 3D layers in camera, right? As you see, it got my character. Scale the background. As, you said, as I said, when it scales the background, you're going to see a duplicate. You know I mean? Add a camera shake. And you can remove the camera shake. So now, um... Let me finish scaling my scene real quick, right? You can use this little panel to scale it. And then you could do things like set keyframes on the camera layer, point of interest and the orientation. And you can zoom on in. All right, let me show you another thing that's cool about this. Pre-compose him. Leave all attributes. Then go into the sequence. See how long it is real quick. Hold up. Page down. Okay. Yeah, so it's about the same. So now I could take this, right? This little... This, where's that tool at? Where's my favorite tool at? This tool right here. All right? You feel me? So now look, I got my Lego over here waving at y'all. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you could do all kind of things with this uh with this plugin. But you know, from the example video that I seen, they used uh stage footage on. They also used this motorcycle thing that you're looking at right here. Also, uh they used all kind of stuff like stock images. And yeah, bro. So I mean, to be honest, this shit could be done with anything. You feel me? You just gotta Get comfortable with using it. Honestly, I really like this plugin. Do highly recommend it for y'all. Yeah, like it's definitely doing everything you needed to do in just five or six clicks. So moving on. This next plugin is called Extrude. It's a $50 plugin. AE scripts is pretty cool, bro. It's really just 3D text and the click of a button. And it gives you this little retro style. This retro style that's really cool to me. So if I import, uh, let me make a new sequence, new composition. And if I just take a little text, say, and if I come here and I just drop the extrude key on it, now we have this, right? Super cool. 
Let me scale this up. I really like this plugin. This plugin is super dope. And you could change the direction of your um, your extrusion. You can also change the length of it, make it come out the front, make it come out the back. The stroke color could be one color and your solid could be another. But you can't move, I, I wouldn't move this around without opening up the, uh, the 3D transform. So let's just make a null and we're gonna track to that null. Feel me and what you got to do is turn off the input now you see this input opacity you turn this off to get rid of your input text and then you could just start playing around with this joint you feel what I'm saying you got a fully 3d text right here bro this is like really dope i'm not gonna lie it's one of my favorites for real with this next plugin i'm gonna keep it on this thing you know why because i want to show you how cool mr horse has always been mr horse is one of those plugins these extensions that i've always used when I made my first tutorial, I, I told y'all about the Animation Composer. Even though I don't have the newest version, this thing is oh, wow. This thing is still, you know, doing me justice to this day. So you know, I love Mr. Horace, bro. So you can open this up, and as you can see, it still has the same interface because I don't update this at all. But look, you see how we still have that uh, that extrude thing. You know, this is pretty cool because we could still. Uh, come in here and use the animation presets on different text layers so i'm going to take the text animation layers and i'm just going to uh, drag it onto the main text we got and as you can see it's animating it's animating all of the text that i have already boom look from the extrusion i'm trying to tell you mr horse always had the source you know what I mean? I'm not even going to cap. Mr. Horse is him. So using Mr. Horse, you could use Extrude. You could use all of these tools to make you some cool stuff. You feel me? On top of that, you got the title pack by your boy, uh, by your boy Ant. You feel what I'm saying? That man, Ant, is one of the best element title packs that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all go get that for real. Like, don't play around with that, man. But... To be honest, man, if y'all like these videos, bro, let me know. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and tell me, you know, what else y'all would like to see out of me, bro. I'm going to be back tomorrow with another one, and peace out.